Hello there survivors, welcome back to another build tutorial in Ark Survival Ascended and today I'm building the Indominus Rex paddock from the Jurassic World movie or at least a design very much inspired by it. It is a big dino pen that you can use for your bigger teams. Everything that fits through a behemoth gate should be easily fitted inside. And of course, you could always expand the length of the dino pen if you need it to be even bigger. But I do think that even though it is so big and has these giant walls to keep your dino secure, it does look quite cool. And of course, it includes the iconic viewing platform room that they're watching the Indominus Rex from with a nice glass design. Now this build should be totally possible in normal arc, even on official settings. What you might need is a good custom cosmetic to use for your glass. If you do play with mods, of course, you can also use modded glass instead. Or if you do not want to use any mods and any custom cosmetics, you could always just go for greenhouse glass instead. But of course, those textures are a little less good because you can't really look out of them as well and as always if you like seeing these build tutorials and you want to see more make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and consider becoming a youtube member to support my channel even more with that being said let's get into the building the first thing that we want to do is to start with a foundation of the wall of the dino pen now you can of course change the size of this if you want to but this is the minimum size that i would recommend so first of all we want to start with a line of normal metal foundations or a different material if you prefer using stone or tech for example and we'll go out by 16 in total so it's going to be quite a long one but it's going to be 16 in total so in total we should have a entire foundation now of 16 to get us started with then we're going into triangles and we're going to be counting only this outside line so this would be one and this would be two and then we want to go out by eight in total so like this again only counting the outside lines it's going to be eight then we'll go into normal foundations again and go out by another eight so that's going to be four six and eight just like that then once again we're going to change to the triangles and go out by 16 so this is going to be another one of the longer sides and again we're only counting these on the outside so one two three four five eight and yeah basically we're just going to continue until we've got 16 in total now as you can see there is a little bit of height difference because it's very unlikely that you'll find a flat enough spot where you can build the entire shape on the same level doesn't really matter too much for these walls so yeah just make sure that we get the foundation in and we'll fix the walls later on from this corner back to normal foundations going out by eight ones more so like this and then of course staying changing to the quarters again counting only the outside and going out by another eight in total like so then we're basically at the opposite side of where we started so we're going to go out by 16 and as i said before yeah if the landscape forces you to go up or down we'll just follow it and again as i said we should go out by 16 and it should line up with the one that we started at then we're just going to continue this shape so again changing to the triangles counting only the outside and going eight in total before we switch back to the normal foundations and go out by another eight in total there we go then we can change back to the triangles again this is going to be one of the longest sides so this is going to be one where we go out by 16 in total there we go and then we go out by eight once more with our normal foundations like this before going back to the triangles and if we did everything correctly and counted everything correctly this should be another eight on the outside before we line up with the foundation that we started at 
And that means that we've got a dino pen like this. Now, if you need even more space, you could, of course, extend it. I would personally recommend extending these sides where we have the 16 of the normal foundations. You can make those longer if you want to extend your uh, dino pen. Because this is also on this side where we're going to add the little viewing platform and base itself. And even though that we do have a little bit of height difference in the foundations, most of it we did manage to keep on the same level. But as I said before, it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to fix it anyway. But it does make it a little bit easier, of course. Okay, now that we do have the entire foundations ready, we kind of need to pick where we start placing our walls. And you kind of want to do this at the highest level of your foundation. Now, ideally, that is one of these sides where we have the long sides with the full foundations. But of course, depending on your landscape, sometimes that might be somewhere else. Basically, what you want to do is you want to start lining it up with the highest point and then starting your make your way around until you reach the site where we want to build our base portion on. For me, that's going to be here. You can pick whether it's going to be on this side or the other long side with the full foundations. Let me show you an example. If, for example, this would have been higher like this, then, of course, the wall would be like a little bit higher than this portion. What you would do then is you build the wall up to this point. Then by using ceilings, you would connect to it like so. And then either with a quarter ceiling or a full ceiling, you would make sure that you can keep the wall on that same level and then connect it back up to your foundation. That's basically what you would do in case you got a different high point somewhere. But in our case, it, we did manage to build it quite nicely and we can just start right here. Now, we want to make sure that we at least have a wall that is nine high in total. But again, if there is some other higher point that you need to work out with, then you start counting from the first wall that is completely above the uh, the first foundation. That could be like I did before, a half one, but it doesn't matter. At least nine walls in height we're going to need for this build. So that's what we want to start with. And then we want to go in by three on this side, placing the walls. And as you can see, I have flipped around the textures instead of the smooth sides I prefer having the sides with a little bit more texture so that it is a little bit nicer and in more interesting to look at uh, instead of just having the very smooth surface. Of course, feel free to change that if you prefer the other look. Uh, or you can, of course, use custom cosmetic skins to change the look entirely. Now we want to go to the other side of this long bit and do the same thing. So we're going to go by the first three walls and then we're going to go up by nine in total like this filling in these entire walls on both sides of the build right now here on the other side we're gonna do the same thing again only the first three walls for now because we're going to be building the base on this side so for now we just want to indicate where the base is going to be fitted in in between and that's basically going to be that viewing platform where they're watching the indominus rex from as well um so yeah we want to get these walls up to get started with now then here on the outside we're going to continue along what i prefer to do usually is check the entire wall for the same height now of course this is going to highly depend on what you've built uh your your build at like what location you're working with sometimes it's going to be more tricky in this case we do see a little bit of height difference what we want to do here is make sure that this uh, is going to be the same height normally you could just go ahead and only place the walls because it wouldn't really matter what's going on on the inside but because this is one of the longer sides the one that's 16 long it means that we want to have one of the entrances here and before we can place those in the right height of course we need to make sure that this is actually the same height all the way across. So we're going to take out our triangle ceilings and just going to mimic the same shape as we had before all the way across so that we can actually use this. 
And then here we want to continue at least one around the corner so we can snap to that for the right height in total. Then as a little bit of preparation, we're going to go here over to this side, have one ceiling and then one triangle ceiling. So once again, we can have the same height of the wall all the way through. All right, before we start filling in the wall here on the long side with the triangles, this is where we're going to have our gate. So what we want to do is basically place in our behemoth gate. I'm going to use the metal one right here. And then we should have four of these. So you should be able to place four walls next to the gate. We're actually also going to fill in the ones underneath immediately. And then we have the behemoth gate and we should have four more walls right here on this side and again we're gonna fill in those walls we want to make sure that we also fill in the gaps underneath here in my case but yeah this is where we're gonna have one of the two entrances and that does mean that everything that fits through a behemoth gate can easily enter this dino pen and yeah you can make a nice safe locations for your bigger tames and of course, if you want one for a smaller audience, smaller dinos, we already have the Raptor Paddock from Jurassic World uh, as a tutorial on the channel as well. Now, we can see we fitted the gate in and because we placed this ceiling, we can keep continuing the wall on the same level as we did before. So we can just continue this all the way through. We would have an issue here. That's why we did, we did the same thing over here so that we can continue the wall on the same height and it just makes your life a lot easier doing it this way because then uh well the wall will be the same height everywhere instead of like randomly changing heights everywhere now here you can choose whether you want to have the same kind of look or you want to see the foundations of course because we have one here on the corner it looks a little bit odd so i'll let you make up your own mind whether you would you want to have an extra layer of ceilings or walls i mean or just cd foundations of course it does save you a little bit of material cost if you just do it like this and then we can continue all the way around the reason why i like to make the first layer at least all the way around is basically just to check and see if we actually can make the wall all the way around in the same height because that's quite important before we start adding any other details of course here once more you want to have four walls We'll do the same thing here on the other side also having the four walls and then of course here in the middle that's where we should have the nice big behemoth gate and then we can continue again with our walls making sure that they are all on the same level as we started with because that is what we're going to need to make this into a successful base like so then here we want to make sure that we raise it up to be nine high in total, which should just be a little bit higher than the gate itself if we've done it all correctly. And then, of course, we can fill in the entirety of this wall to be the same height to kind of see what our gate is going to look like. Now, this is a very tall structure, of course, because we want to fit in these behemoth gates for the bigger dinos, but also just because... Uh, well, we wanted to have that viewing platform to the side, so it needed to be high enough to incorporate that base design to make it look like the one we see in the movie. Okay, for these sides where we have the gate, of course, everything that I do on this side for one gate is what we're going to do for the other side as well. First things that we want to do is want to make sure that we can actually access this quite easily. So we change to the metal ramps, make sure they stick out a little bit. I usually like to go just a little bit further than where the behemoth gate ends and just make a nice little ramp here on the outside so that you can easily get your tames inside. Of course, if it's a little bit higher above the landscaping, I believe we'll have that on the other side, then you might need some more ramps before you go down all the way into the ground. Here on the inside, we're going to wait a little bit. We're first going to shape up the walls. We're going to have one wall going diagonal like this. And then we're going to have three more walls until we reach the corner. So we'll do the same thing here on the other side. We have the diagonal one and then the three walls up until the corner there. Then we can take out the ramps for the inside as well. And we basically line them up where this diagonal wall ends. 
because we don't really need to go any further than that. And once again, if it's a little bit higher, add more ramps if needed. And then, of course, we can add in the big behemoth gates as a main entrance here. Now we can also take up these walls to be the complete nine high. Again, I like these rougher structures on the outside and keeping these smoother ones on the inside. So we'll build up the wall all the way up to the top to make it at least nine high once more. And then three from the top, what I really like to do is change one of these out for a window instead because we can snap a air conditioning unit into it, which doesn't really help you. You don't even need to power it, but it just looks a little bit nicer as like uh, some proper air intakes and ventilation around the big structure to add a few details in that way. So just like that, it just looks a little bit nicer. Of course, for this other side, we're going to do the same thing, raising up these walls once more, like so, and making sure they're all nine high at least. And also adding in that window because it just breaks up those walls a little bit more. Then we're going to actually take out all metal pillars. We're going to add one right here on the corner to get that little bit of extra shape into our build. And we'll have one here on this corner as well to kind of signal this side portion of the wall. Do the same thing here, of course, on this side, going up with the pillar and then here on this side too, just to get a little bit more shape going on. Then we'll take out the beam and connect them along the edges here of all of these walls on the top. There we go. Once again, just to give a little bit more details to these walls because they are quite big, they are quite flat, and there's not a whole lot that we're going to do to them. That's why I like to have this texture like this. Of course, here on the outside, we also want to add the pillar, even though we don't see a lot of it, it still changes the look a little bit. So we want to do that on both sides, of course, adding in those pillars all the way. And then here at the end on the corner, we're going to add in another pillar going all the way down into the ground. Same thing here on the other side, adding in that pillar to kind of signal this portion of the wall. And of course, then we still need to fix the top here of this wall portion. First of all, we're going to add ceilings to the top to make sure that, yeah, well, nothing just gets stuck inside of your wall by flying inside. Adding these ceilings like so. Then we can take out our railings and add them along the sides like this to create another level of detail. But there is a really cool custom cosmetic that you can use on these to change them so to some barbed wire looking things. Yeah, there we go. We've got this barbed wire skin. I'll have the exact name for this in the comments down below. But um, yeah, this is a really cool custom cosmetic that you should also be able to use on official where you can just change these railings into some barbed wire. I do see that I've placed them the wrong way around for some reason because it wants to go the other way. There we go. It's supposed to look like this, which just adds that nice little extra detail to it all. Yeah, the reason why it was snapping the other way around for this skin is because technically the walls are flipped the other way around. So it thinks you want to face it that way. So what you would have to do if you want to use this custom cosmetic is make sure that you snap the railing to the ceilings instead of the walls and then they should face the right way but yeah you could also just keep the railings whatever you prefer but it does look quite cool and make your dinos feel even more dangerous as they probably are now of course everything that we've done for this design for this side of the gate we are gonna do the same thing on the other side as well and then of course because this is a little bit higher there will be just a little bit of extra ramps involved just go whatever you need to do until you reach the actual ground and yeah that will be where you want to have the ramp going of course because then you can get your dinos easily up and down it so we're just going to be doing the same things that we did on the other side and i will see you back after we've done both gates for this big 
Dino Pen. So yeah, after this we should have both entrances to the Dino Pen complete, um, being completely identical. Then it's time to continue on to the next corner here. And of course, the first thing that we're going to want to do is raising up this entire wall to be nine high as well. Basically, lining it up with the other walls that we've built so far, both on the inside and on the outside, making sure that we've got the whole wall raised because it's just easier to work with than, you know, doing details first. Uh, we definitely want to see these walls before we start adding in all the little details to make them look a little bit nicer. So yeah, filling in the wall all the way like this on the inside and then doing the same here on the outside. You'll need definitely a lot of walls for this. I do think that both metal uh, and tech could be used, but metal actually might look a little bit better for these walls and you're definitely not going to need anything stronger. But of course, if you want to make it a little bit cheaper, you can easily also use stone as well. Especially if you maybe want to go for a more concrete look, there might be some custom cosmetics out there that you could use to skin the walls and then just make them a little bit cheaper, basically. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is add in a pillar along the ending of the wall that we've now created like this. Of course, on the other side, we're going to do the exact same thing, adding in the pillar to end this section of the wall and also adding in the beams across the top to continue them on basically from the design that we've started with like so. You can also add in our full ceilings to the top to fill in this part of the wall. And then once more, of course, we want to make sure that we add the railings here to the side of the wall. And again, if you want to, you can add in the custom cosmetic skin that I showed you before for the barbed wire to make it look even a little bit cooler. We should have a wall that is eight long here, so we can actually add another pillar right down the middle of this section of the wall to kind of break it up even more. Then I like to bring out the tech roof. You could also use metal and then maybe paint it in a lighter texture to make it stand out that way. Then on this height, so if we've added those windows, those were three from the top and then we have the air conditioning, this is basically going to be five from the top. We're going to add in some roofs like this right over there. Then here on the sides, of course, we're going to add in our tech walls. Basically, we're using this so that it stands out against the whole metal wall. But then again, you could also use metal and just paint it a little bit differently to make it stand out instead or change the wall to custom cosmetics and then just use metal so that it still stands out against each other. So like this, we're going to fill it in. And then, of course, the front here, we're going to also fill in with some walls like this. That kind of makes a nice little contrast against the main structure. Now, what I personally also like to do is add in some pillars alongside the wall where we have this structure going, just to add that little edge that is there and then have some beams going across the top there too just to make it a little bit more framed inside of the build. We're actually going to be adding one more of these here on the other side of this wall or well, the other half of this wall. So we're going to repeat the exact same pattern with the roofs, adding in the sloped walls to the side and then just filling in the rest with normal walls to break up this side wall and make it feel like it's being properly supported in here to keep those dinos in and of course adding these pillars uh to the corners as well okay then we're gonna go here on the outside and then of course we can also add a pillar here in the middle to split up these sections we have a section that is closest to the gate and the sections that's further from the gate the one further from the gate is the one we're going to start again going five from the top is where we're going to add in our tech roofs should be the same height as on the other side then adding in our slope walls and our normal walls to make the same kind of structure 
as before. But this only should be at the one furthest from the gate. So that's going to depend on, of course, which side of the build you're making this on. And then we'll just fill in these walls as well to basically make that same structure. Again, I really prefer to also add in these around it just to make it feel a little bit more supported and like engraved into this wall design then over here we're going to do something quite differently we'll be taking out a tech roof and we'll be adding four of them right like so out from the wall and this is going to be kind of another support but it's also kind of feeding your tames into the entrance i guess so that's what we want to do and then here we also kind of want to align the pillars around the structure that we're making like this of course that means that we're going to place the slope walls underneath all of these like so and then we can fill in the side with tag walls all the way until we hit the ground um making a very big support for this build but yeah it just adds a little bit more shape to the outside because it can be quite a flat build otherwise so here on this side of course we're going to be doing the same adding in the slope walls and then adding in the normal walls all the way once again down into the ground like so and filling it all in quite nicely and then here on the front of course we'll add in the pillars to the end of the walls like this and then only having to fill in the last wall here at the front all the way down to the ground basically giving us a nice little corner piece for this build and again leading your dinos into the entrance a little bit now this corner wall that i've just built is going to be built a few more times so we have it right there on the right side of the gate of course here on the left side of the gate you're gonna have the exact same wall and then on both these sides next to this gate we're gonna have the same wall design again it should be all exactly the same the only thing that you need to keep attention to of course is the fact that on the outside we have one thing that's going to be next to the gate every time and one thing that's going to be on the other half of that wall so yeah we want to repeat this process for all the other walls next to the gate there we go after you've placed all those corners down we should have something that looks a little bit like this which is definitely getting close to looking like the full dino pen being built then we're gonna build the second part of the corner basically which is the triangle bit and again those will be four times for this entire build so i'll show you once and you can repeat it for the other corners doing the exact same thing of course it's going to start out by just raising up this wall all the way as well so that it is equally high as everywhere else which is at least nine above your foundation level but at this point you should just be able to match it up with the other bits of the wall that we've already placed down before at this point so yeah we're just going to be raising this up both of course the outside wall like this but also the inside wall to the same level so that we can start adding in some details and finishing the corners for the big dino pen over here so yeah let's fill in the rest of this wall okay once we've done that we want to add in the pillar make sure that you line it up with the normal foundations and not the triangle foundations that we're working with right now have the pillar go all the way up to the top and of course we're going to add in the beams across the top here as well all the way across the top of this part of the wall here on the outside of course we're also going to add in the pillar again snapping it to the side with the full foundations instead of the triangles and then the outside should also have a middle there should be eight in total so four on both sides and we can have a pillar going up straight in the middle here as well then we can take out our triangle ceilings and fill in the top here of the roof or well the wall it's not really much of a roof 
but at least going on all the way through taking out our railings of course and adding them on top now right here and of course on the outside doing the same thing there too there we go here on the inside we're going to take out a window and again three from the top we're going to add in some air conditioning units one right over here so one from the side the other one right from the side as well on the other side of this wall adding in our air conditioning units again as a little bit of details and then taking out a tech roof one above this layer so two from the top we're going to add in two roofs going down like this adding our slope walls to the side here like so and then of course filling in the wall all the way down to the ground like this and then doing the same thing for the other sides of course filling in filling in all these walls to make another one of these support bits that just break up the wall a little bit and make it less flat of course adding in these pillars to the end of it as extra supports and here on the inside line we want to make sure that we have them as well just for that little bit of extra texture and detail and a beam across the top of it so that's it for the inside of the wall here on the outside it's actually going to be very similar to what we've done before so we're going to do the same height here two of these roofs and of course adding these slope walls to the side adding in our beams at the top or pillars down below into this wall all the way like this and then here on this end of course we're also going to be adding in our pillars to make this structure work and then we can fill in our tech walls all along this structure to basically make another support that is very similar to the one that we have over there and speaking of being very similar we're actually going to add in a row of supports here the pillar going all the way up one from the top that's where we add in the beam we can take out our tech roofs once more and bring them out by four basically creating that same structure once more out here to add in a nice big support for our dino pen like this adding in the tech walls here on the front then at the side of course we want to add in our sloped walls against the roofs and of course doing that on both sides of the roofs so that we can fill in our tech walls all the way down until the ground all the way for this entire structure to fill in the last remaining bits and this will add a nice support again against this wall and this corner we're gonna build three more times for the other remaining corners wherever we have those triangle foundations so yeah we've got it right there now and we need to add it in the other three corners as well all right so our dino pen is starting to look like a almost fully complete pen we've got all the gates in we've got the corners in now we just have the two main big sides this one is just going to be a normal wall and this one is going to be where we have the uh, yeah viewing platform basically where they watch the anomalous rex in the movie um so that's going to be the base portion let's first focus on finishing this wall on the other side because it's just going to be a normal wall and the first step of course is going to be filling in this wall all the way up to the right height because well it is gonna have to be another wall of course so yeah we want to go around filling in all of these pieces once more until it lines up with the rest of the wall that we've now since completed all the way around so yeah let's just first make sure to fill in all of these walls it's, uh, it's quite a big one of course because this is the long section of the wall which is currently 16 long but as i said before if you need the pen to be even bigger you can of course extend this even longer um but yeah that will be quite costly of course to do so but uh, yeah well if you need the space you need the space i suppose 
Although this should already give you a fair bit of space and finding any spot that's big enough to hold a bigger dino pen might be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so we've done the inside wall and then of course the same thing goes for the outside wall. Also raise this up all the way until we've made it the same height as the wall all the way around the build. Okay, now we have the wall, of course. We're going to fill in the top layer here with some ceilings so that we can finish off this whole section of the wall like this. There we go. Then, of course, we should already have the pillars here on the side, but we can add in the beams along the top of the wall here to connect the last two pieces up. Again, we should also already have the pillar right there. And then we can fill in the last remaining beam going from one side to the other here on the outside too. Okay, after three walls, we want to add in a nice pillar going all the way down to the ground here on the outside. There we go. We'll do the same thing here on the other side. Three from the ending. Add in a nice pillar. And then after five, we can add in another pillar right down the middle here. There we go, that should divide it in some nice sections. On the inside, we're going to do the same thing. So after three, we're going to add in a pillar on one side. There we go. On the other side, we'll do the same thing. After three walls, we'll add in a nice pillar going all the way. And then after five of them, we'll add in a pillar right down the middle of this structure like this. Basically dividing this up into nice sections. Here on the inside, we can take out our window on the same height as the other ones. We'll add them in, so three from the top. We'll do the same thing here on the other side right there, adding in two more windows for some air conditioning units. Again, these aren't really functional or they don't have to be powered at all. They just add a little bit to the look of this, kind of as if there's like a climate control for your dinos out here. And then here in the middle of both of these sections, two from the top, we're going to add in two of these tech roofs going out like this. So basically repeating that structure style. And then we actually want to repeat the same thing. So have a beam above it, pillars going down from there like this, integrated into the wall. We do the same thing here for the other side there we go all the way back up to the top then of course here so at the end of the roofs we also want to add pillars down into the ground there we go the other one here as well same thing for the other roofs adding the pillars underneath all the way to the end of it and then we take out our slope walls to add them underneath starting to fill in this structure for both of these parts there we go adding in all the slope walls and then all we need to do is fill in the rest with some proper walls to close off the structure and add some more of these support like structures to the side of a wall basically to break up the whole flat design that would otherwise be here Alternatively, of course, if you don't want to just have a normal wall, you could also have the base portion at both sides. If you do really need the space, maybe you're building it together with uh, one other tribe mate and you both want to have your own little sections at each, each side of the pen. That's also, of course, totally a possibility. So there we go. The inside should look like this. Of course, here at the top, we also want to make sure that we add in our railings before we forget. So all the way along the top, we'll continue this railing to the other side of the wall until we meet up. And of course, here on the other side, the outside wall, we want to do the same thing. Adding in all of these railings across until we reach and connect to the side that we already had in place. So just like this, there we go. So the inside of the wall should now be completely done, except of course for the part where we're going to add the base in. 
So here on the other side, we're going to actually keep it quite simple. We're going to do the same thing as on the inside, actually, except for the air conditioning unit. So two from the top, we're going to add in two of these roofs sticking out like that. And then basically repeating the same kind of building style that we did on the inside, starting with our pillars integrated into the wall to kind of outline the addition, the support that we're going to be building all the way up for both of these and then of course we can add in the pillars from the roof down into the ground for all of these corners so two here and of course two here over here as well in my case it's kind of going into this big rock but that's totally fine of course kind of integrating it into the landscape then we can take out our slope walls add them underneath the roofs everywhere so that we can start filling in the last little bits of these walls like so. So there we go. That's one side done. And then, of course, we just kind of want to go around filling in all of these walls, connecting this whole support up. And yeah, it's basically the easiest way to add some kind of details to these big walls, making the structure look quite strong and protected because of course you're keeping your dangerous teams in here and um, kind of like in the movie we want to make sure that it looks robust strong and uh, a little bit of dangerous as well like you should it should look like you're keeping your dangerous teams in here and i think this is a nice way to kind of make sure that it does look that way so yeah we should have a nice shape that is properly supported on all sides like this a big dino pen to hold our dinos and then it's time to get started on our main structure over here all right so the last bit of wall that we haven't done yet that's where we're going to start we're going to find the middle two right here we're going to place two more foundations and make it a line of four so this should be exactly in the middle and then we're going to take it out by six in total, like so. And then we can just fill in this entire shape. And this is going to be the little extra base. Now, I'm building this out of tech. You can also just keep this being metal. I also have this build as a separate build. If you do not want to connect it and just have it separately, you could also do that. But for this pen, and if you want to make it at least the inside very much look like the Jurassic World uh, pen, then this is a good start to go at. So we should have this extra foundation now. From there, we're going to have our tech roofs going out like this on the corners of our building, like so. We're going to add a nice ceiling to the end of this, and then we're going to go back down underneath and add some more of these roofs going back into the building like this to create some of this shape to our build we'll take out our slope walls and start filling in the sides of these because these are going to be some kind of the support for our building but also just add a lot to the look and the shape of the build that we're working on right now so yeah we kind of have these beams coming out of this new foundation that we've just added to our building like this then we'll take out our tech walls and go up by three in total on there, on the outside and on this side. Not on the inside, however, we can keep that open and use the space inside to get some extra storage in there like this. And then here on top, we actually want to take out our slope walls again and go into this shape by two like this. So we'll do that on the end of all of these walls to bring back the shape in a little bit now this building on the outside is more of my own imagination to make the laboratory a little bit bigger but the inside viewing platform is definitely going to be very similar to what we see in the movie then we want to take out our thin metal pillar and add in a pillar like this right here being too high in total and we'll add in another one right over here like this and we'll do the same thing here on the other side adding two of these pillars in being too high in total just to add in some extra supports and as a little bit of detail for the walls that we'll have there then we can take out our ceilings once more and we're going to connect this shape to each other 
we're gonna go out by three of these ceilings in total on both sides like this uh, before we actually take these out and go out by three ceilings to the outside like this once more so we'll do the same thing here on the other side again this should be three to the outside of the shape we already had and then we can come and bring in these ceilings across like so and we can continue them to outside of the wall that we have going on right here and then we can basically start filling these in all the way across until they line up once again with this part also filling them in right in here where basically the wall would be crossing this building like so and then we can connect this side up as well to make this whole shape then before we start filling in the whole ceilings we want to take out our tech stairs have them go down like this and that is the connection to the lower floor then we can take out our ceilings start filling in this entire portion of the building do the same thing here on the other side as well because this is basically going to be the main layer that we'll be using and then we can fill in these ceilings too so that we have a nice amount of space in here we'll take all our tech railings add them alongside the staircase to make it all safe and of course around these sides as well so you don't accidentally fall down there now we'll take out our metal wall and actually continue our wall all the way like this to where it meets the new building that we've just been creating now we might want to do some things what i like to do is again have these windows in here because then you could turn them into some air conditioning and hatch some eggs inside maybe we'll have two normal walls up there and what i also like doing is having some secret doorways in here so that you could access the inside of the wall if you wanted to for some extra space and storage basically so we'll add in some of the air conditioning right in there as well and then what i usually would do is probably place your uh generator or something down there then here on the corner we want to be adding in a pillar and these are going to be four high in total like this then after a gap of two we will add in another pillar that is going to be the same height but we'll also extend this down into the ground as a little bit of extra support on the side there and then here in this corner we also want to be adding in all pillars all the way up for high like that we'll do the same thing here on the corner and then two out we'll do another one going four up but this is the one that we also connect all the way down into the ground as some extra support as i said before we'll take out our roofs again and we'll have a roof going down this way as a bit of extra support and you can actually just connect it all the way up into the ground like this add another layer of these roofs going down into the ground like this and then we can fill in the sides of this with some sloped walls now these last ones you might get a little bit of trouble if that is the case depends on your landscape a little bit what you can also do is just make it go into normal walls instead because that might be a little bit easier to place or another way what you could do is you could get rid of these all together and just snap a foundation in there if it will let you because that of course will also save you a little bit of structures and then of course filling in this here on the other side we will be doing the same thing so we'll be adding in a little bit of support like so doing it the same way going down by two and then here we'll snap in a foundation like that before filling in the sides of the supports with some of the sloped walls like this there we go that already looks like it's being supported a little bit better then here on the inside we actually also want to be adding some supports one from the corner will go in with our roofs like this we'll be doing the same thing here on the other side there we go and then we can actually also just start filling in this part of the wall up to the ceiling level all the way through like this 
because obviously, yeah, we don't want to leave it open like this. Then we can take out our thin pillar once more here on the end of the supports. We'll add one going four high. We'll do the same thing right over here. And on the corners, we can add in actual pillars going four high as well. Now, of course, we would also need an entrance into this place. The best way to do this is to actually open up a door somewhere. Um, you can either do this on both sides or maybe pick one side where you would prefer the door to be. So, for example, one over there. But, of course, if you want to make it symmetrical, you can do it on both sides. Personally... I, I like it just to be on one side, but yeah, the option is there. We'll add some stairs to it, some railings along the stairs, of course. And we'll add in the actual door so that we have a nice secure looking door in here. Then we'll go inside of the wall for a little bit. We'll take out our full walls again and just fill in the back of the wall right here. All the way up to the top to close off this section. We want to do the same thing on the other side inside of the wall as well. Just to be sure that you, you're not walking around the entire wall. Unless you want to, of course, then you can add a secret door or a normal door somewhere as well. So we basically want to fill in two more ceilings. So we have, we have one gap at the end of these hallways. And then here, if depending on whether you've added a in entrance on both sides, you might want to uh, also leave this open. But if you don't have a second entrance... You can fill it all the way in inside of here. Then here we'll also add in a door frame on both sides so that we can access that part. And then above it, we can just fill in the wall all the way through up the same height as we have the pillars. So four high in total. So basically three more walls above the door like this. Then here on the side where we do have the door what we want to do is start laying down our elevators like this first so that we have a stop here at this level but we also want to make sure that we line it up with the height that we have this wall for because here we're also going to add in some ceilings like this so that we can have the elevator stop up top and re reach the top of our building now here on the other side, if you, for example, didn't build a uh, entrance here, you can still have the elevator here going up to the right layer so that you can also access the roof from this side of your building like so. Just makes it a little bit easier after all. And of course, in here, we want to make sure that we have our doorways so that those sides are closed off again. Then we actually want to take out our ceilings and we want to start filling in this part of the roof. We want to make sure that we go out by one on the front and on the sides of this building. And then we'll start first of all filling in these layers here at the front, which is basically the overhang into the dino pen. Like so. Then it should line up with those elevators entrances we've just made. Filling in everything in between and then we can just start filling in all the way like this. And of course, also here, we want to make sure that we overlap by one outside these pillars that we've already placed. Except here in the front, we're not going to do any extensions. So we'll just line it up like this inside going across to this side where we can do the same thing. And then here on the front of this we only want to add it up to there so not any further inside of that and then here on this side of course we can extend it as well one outside of where we have the pillars placed lining it all up and then we can fill in the entire roof with our ceilings to make another nice big platform where you can also park up some of your flyers rock tracks depending of course on what map you're playing on then here on the inside of the pen we want to make sure of a few things first of all we want to finish these supports we'll add in some slope walls like this which means that we can then snap some roofs to this going over like so and then filling in these supports making them look a little bit stronger and they just make a little bit more sense like this holding up a big building and making sure 
that it's all still secure. So we'll do the same thing right over here, making sure those supports are nice and finished. Then we can take out another tech roof and we can go from the edge and make it go back into the wall, creating this nice sharp line. Also adding in a tech slope wall right there to kind of fill up that empty spot otherwise. And we'll do the same thing right here. Add that in and then add in those roofs going into the buildings. Creating that nice sharp line of design right here. And we actually want to continue these roofs all the way on the front of this building to kind of create that nice, nice shape all the way around. Here on the inside, that means that we can have a layer of tech walls to fill in that part so you don't see those roofs sticking out over there. Here on the inside, we want to add in the roof as well. And we actually want to have two of them going into that main wall so that again, you can use this part for a little bit of storage. Then of course, on the outside, we also want to make sure that we fill in these tech roofs like this, making the structure go up. Then we can have three normal walls on both of these sides. And of course, for this one, it's going to be the exact same thing, adding in three walls before going into a slope wall, connecting back up to the main structure. We can add in our roofs as well. You could even make this hidden doors if you want to access and hide some storage or anything inside. But for now, we'll just fill it in like this. Then we'll take out our tech railing at two in between and then start following the outline of the ceilings that we have over here on the top of the roof so that it's a little bit more safe to actually access this. And then here we want to do the same thing going all the way across the top like so then it's time to take a look at the wall that we have up here now first of all you want to connect it all the way through because that will complete the look here on the inside so for the inside we just want to completely fill in these walls now if you want to have access to the top of this roof um, because i mean i guess there isn't actually a dangerous dinosaur in there that will attack you you could of course add in a door on this side as well or maybe a hidden door so you could use the top of this platform to maybe park up some of your flying tames but for now we'll just keep the wall like this and you can decide for yourself if you want to have that then here on the other side however we want to of course make it a little bit more useful so what we want to do is at least add one more layer of the wall like this just completely normally then we want to add in a double door frame right there and right there making entrances for us to go into the wall and basically connect up to the elevators that we've made and then we can start filling in the rest of the wall like normal because it's supposed to be attached of course to the wall especially on the inside like we see in the movies and then of course here you can add your doors you can have metal doors or tech doors whatever you prefer the look of then of course we can also take out our metal ceilings to fill in the top of the wall here as well now there is actually two options for the top of the wall you could just leave it like this and just be for show of course you could also add some ladders up to it and make sure that you can walk around and you can even extend a walkway above the gates in that case to make sure you can access it all but for now we will just start adding in our beams across but yeah just know that it is an option if you want to be able to walk around the top of these walls of course you could in fact do so so yeah we'll go around and add in the beams all the way across now if you want to keep it also intact with the other one after three walls you can add in these pillars like this which would line up with where the building is starting so we can definitely add those structural pillars in there and they would also nicely line up with the build that we've got the same thing of course for the one in the middle after five more walls you can have the pillar still be there to kind of keep that look symmetrical with the other side 
And then, of course, we can also add the railings to the top of the wall here to make sure that it lines up with the design of the rest of the build that we've made. So there we go. We're placing the railings all the way across like this. So now basically looks like the building is actually attached to the side or through the wall, I suppose I should say. And now we've pretty much designed everything, but you're probably wondering why do we not have any walls uh, in here? Because that's not really a building right now. And that's true. It's now time to add in your glass walls. And for this, there's a couple of different options depending on how you play and with what kind of mods or custom cosmetics. Of course, you can just use greenhouse glass. That's the most default way to do this. You could add a custom cosmetic skin that gives you glass. I believe clean or clear glass is a really good one, but there's a couple of different uh, cool custom cosmetics that allow you to get glass walls and different pieces like that. And of course, if you have proper mods, there's a plethora of other walls that you could use. I personally really like using the ASR or Architect Structures Remastered Glass because it looks really, really nice. All right, let's start with our glass roofs, whether it's greenhouse glass or any of the other options. We'll add four of them right in here so that we can still look outside. And then we'll have two of them right there as well to continue that shape. Then we'll take out our sloped glass walls i suppose and we want to add one over here and then of course then of course we want to add two right here to kind of go along with that shape here on the other side we're gonna of course do the same thing add in this slope wall glass wall right in these spots to fill in those gaps and then we should just be able to take out our normal glass walls and fill in the remaining bits. So here we can just go all the way up until the wall and fill in our glass like that. Doing the same thing here on the other side to finish this first layer of our building. And yeah, I really like using a lot of glass for this because, I mean, it lets in a lot of natural light, which by itself... It's just really great to light up your build. So yeah, here we're also just going to fill in this entire wall. And then here we can just follow the structure along, filling in our glass walls like this. So that we'll have plenty of spaces to enjoy the nice views around our base, which is another thing that I really like about using this much glass. Of course, here in the front, we also want to fill in all glass walls. And then here on this side, we're going to do the same thing, filling in all the glass like this. And then we can continue to follow the wall right here, filling it all in with the glass. And we'll be able to enjoy all the nice views around our base quite easily this way with this design. There we go, filling all of this in as well. So the back of our building is now complete but of course we have the front here as well and well basically what we want to do is just fill in the glass walls as normal and this is where you're gonna have that great view into your dino pen you can observe your dinos and of course this is where the uh, famous scenes from the jurassic world movie take place looking out into the pen trying to spot that indominus rex and there we go this is then what your base would look like it's quite a nice base as well plenty of space high enough for your bigger structures in here like the industrial forge and the tech replicator and that of course is pretty much it this is the dino pen from jurassic world for the indominus rex you have a big dino pen with two behemoth gates to get your bigger tames in and out looking quite strong and secure and then we have this iconic viewing platform to watch your dinos from safely from the inside and if you do use asr you can actually change the uh, glass settings so that it's less see-through for an even cooler effect but yeah that is pretty much it and then of course you have this whole base to decorate and as i said it's quite big 
can easily fit in the bigger structures like the industrial forge, the tech replicator, all your storage, your beds and stuff like that. You should be able to fit quite a few things in here and personalize it to your own needs. With that being said, that is it for this build tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you back in the next video. Goodbye.